My name is Jared Hamill. I'm with the Coalition to March on the RNC. Today is the day that you, the City Council, decide on whether or not to put this ordinance into law. For weeks now, we've heard from many different people that the clean zone, or as it's called now, the event zone, will directly stifle and limit the voice of protesters. Any ordinance or law that says pr where protesters need to be and for how long is direct oppression of the voice of the people. We are here with real demands. We are here because our houses were closed on, because there aren't jobs for us to support ourselves or our families, because we have to go into massive debt just to go to school, and because we can't walk freely outside just because of the color of our skin. Clean zone or event zone, not much has changed. The same items are banned like gas masks. People still aren't allowed to protect themselves from a militarized police force who are gearing up for war. We plan to lead a peaceful march on August 27th, and the only violence that we expect is that from the police. The same police who at every convention protest fire tear gas and rubber bullets at peaceful, peaceful protesters. And like I said two weeks ago, protesters don't need new laws. On top of that, we have the right to protest within sight and sound of the convention, and on August 27th, Families, students, and retired workers will be marching where and for how long, how long they feel is necessary. Will you arrest thousands of people if they decide to parade for five minutes longer than your set time? I highly doubt it. We the people say once more, no to the event zone and no to the Republicans. We the people are the makers of history. City Council, don't be on the wrong side of change. Don't be on the wrong side of history. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm trying to lady here. I kind of not. Uh, this is a conversation between the speakers and this council. I appreciate it very orderly. Next, please. I'm not going to get into a debate. My name is Amos Mears at 1217 East Floor Street. I'm here to talk about agenda item number 65, the Green Zone Ordinance. I do not accept the suspension of my rights for one second, much less four days outlined the proposed Green Zone Ordinance. Bob Buckhorn claims 99.9% .9 of the visitors will be peaceful. Yet we are spending $50 million posting 4,000 4, law enforcement officers, stationing, stationing 1,700 National Guard troops, and stripping fundamental rights of our residents for the protection from 0.1% of the people the government is so afraid of. 0.1% is around 10 to 20 people, depending on how many people come to demonstrate. Does this seem at all reasonable? Giving up freedom for security is dangerous. My rights are not something I'm willing to barter for any reason. I'm opposed to any form of a green zone. The RNC has rented our forum and our convention center. They do not get to rent our rights, our law enforcement, our streets, and our town. We pay for the city. It is ours. Secret Service is already maintaining a safe zone around those properties. Furthermore, the trends have shown us that law enforcement will most likely engage the peaceful demonstrators regardless of whether you try to justify it on paper. My, my safety is threatened first and foremost by the state-sponsored crackdown on the Senate. What is assured is that among the fi many fine men and women we have in law enforcement, there are those looking for violence at these events. 10% of the 5,700 law enforcement will unnecessarily provoke and initiate an assault on peaceful residents, as has been proven at, by all accounts at all recent national special security events. The fight starts with law enforcement. Of those 570 law enforcement who, in who initiate the assault, 10% of those will be extremely violent. Of those 57, 10% will be a serious threat to our lives and will, be, and will seriously injure people and perhaps kill. Now my own mayor and city council want to leave me defenseless by not allowing me to protect my eyes, nose, and lungs if and when law enforcement decide to fire tear gas grenades at someone who may or may not pose a threat. Some of you have even went as far as attempting to suspend our Second Amendment right. Governor Rick Scott replied to Mayor Bob Buckhorn that it is just at such times that the constitutional right to self-defense is most precious and must be protected from government overreach. It is easy to see why. My right to free speech and, my, and our right to peacefully assemble needs to be protected as well. When the state escalate, escalates their assault on the people, we have a duty to face it. And if you, our elected officials, we place in power, knowingly violate our, our rights by voting in favor of such an ordinance, we will hold you personally accountable for the aftermath that occurs, and we will not wait until election day. Remember, we will still be here after the RNC is over. We live here. I am 100% opposed to any form of green zone, any form of limitation on my rights. My rights go where I go, and I will defend them wherever I stand. For those who, those listening who agree with me and are willing to take a stand, you can contact me by visiting resistrnc.org or Googling Free Speech Project Tampa Bay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, please.